Cerber Dynamics Audit Committee Chairman Johan Ishak said the company would take swift and appropriate action if any issues regarding alleged discrepancies raised by its former auditor KPMG were unearthed during the course of an internal investigation. The oil and gas services provider has since taken KPMG to court over issues the firm raised, which Cerberdynamic insisted were done improperly. Since then, the company appointed Ernst & Young to conduct a special review of the problems flagged by KPMG. Cerberdynamic also made a number of board appointments that saw the entry of new independent non-executive directors. Johan Ishak, who is one of the new appointees, told FMT that the audit committee would not hesitate to take proper action to rectify any unresolved issues discovered by EY. If there are any is issues arising from their review, the independent directors will use their power on the board to push management to address the matters. And we are clear and we are transparent and we are fair. If there are anything being reported you know, by any of these parties, and based on investigations have been confirmed uh, that uh, something wrong has been done, then therefore we will take necessary actions because it is our fiduciary duties to ensure that things are being put in place to address the matters. He added that the team from EY was in constant communication with the independent non-executive directors as well as the Securities Commission and Bursa Malaysia. Now, Bear in mind that the communication is only between Ensign Yang and the independent directors. The non-independent directors, the executive directors, the management are not invited into the meetings that we have with Ensign Yang. So I think that provides enough check and balances, you know, coupled with the fact that the independent directors are indeed independent, we've got no financial interest. He added that fellow independent non-executive directors Siti Zaleha Sulaiman and Muhammad Farid Abu Hassan provided the expertise the company needed to carry out the review effectively. So we've got uh, Puan Siti, Puan Siti Zaleha, who used to be the head of risk management for Bursa, okay, Bursa Malaysia. And we also have Datuk Seri Farid Abu Hassan, who used to be the chief for special branch. Now, as you can see, the experiences of all these independent directors, they are quite complementary, for which they are relevant for what we are dealing with now at Serba Dynamic. We want to do things um, the right way, right? You know, if there's anything wrong, we need to take action, whether it's internal or external.